Welcome to my December 2023 update on the best savings accounts for your money here in the UK. Plus a little bit of news, a little bit of updates on other things that have been going on that are worth knowing about. And let's start off with the good news because the latest inflation rate, which is the rate for October, even though we're now in December, it was released in November. But anyway, the most recent inflation figures that we have show that inflation fell. It fell to 4.6% percent which was slightly lower than was anticipated and that means there are now a huge number of savings accounts which beats inflation which has been the goal all along really can you get your savings to be higher than inflation and it's been practically impossible other than a handful of regular savings accounts until recently now there's almost every type of savings account you can get not all of them but almost every one of them will beat inflation at the current rate. And we've got the next inflation figures in 20th of December. So a week and a half, something like that. And it's expected to drop a little bit more again there. So that is all good news, right? Fantastic. And I'll take you through some of those best accounts in a moment. The flip side though of inflation falling slightly faster than expected is that the kind of analysts and the markets are now predicting that the base rate will actually drop sooner than previously was expected and also there won't I mean we've kind of known this for a while now anyway that people have been saying there probably won't be any more base rate hikes coming up anytime soon but they're now saying it might drop a little bit faster might drop well sooner still going to be high for a longer period of time so not dropping back 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 down but maybe we might see something happen earlier next year not early next year but earlier than anticipated next year and as a result as we'll talk about in a minute when we get to the bad news those longer term fixes, the rates have been plummeting. I'll take you through those in a moment. What I want to do though, show you is just broadly, I like to do this on this video, just give you a quick uh, update of how things have changed since the last time we did this. Now, even be clever, your cash.com. Um, I've got an article that accompanies this video where you can see this table in full. Uh, and this kind of shows you when I did the update roughly four weeks ago, what were the best paying rates and what are they now and what is the difference? So when we look at uh, easy access and notice accounts, you'll see there's not much difference. In fact, a slight improvement on easy access, which we'll get to in a moment. But otherwise, they're more or less the same. So uh, you can't really have got any better rates than you would have done uh, a month ago. And regular savers, I'll come to this moment, there has been uh, a new one there, which is quite good. So quite exciting there. So a chance for you to get even inflation busting at seven percent rate uh in addition to a few others that we already know about but when we get to fix this look at all these minuses in this final column minus 0.09 percent drop on the six month fix but then that gets bigger and bigger and bigger and look at these ones three years four years and five fix uh five year fixes huge huge drops on the best rates you can get now compared to four weeks ago and remember these rates are all lower than they were two months ago three months ago that continuous decline we've seen so I think we can very, very conclusively say now that interest rates did peak five, six, seven, eight weeks ago uh, on those fixes. Of course, with all these things, I always tell you when I do my updates from the Bank of England meetings and what they, what has happened and what they say might happen, things can change. And <laughs> you never know what could happen out there in the world that might reverse. They might go, do you know what? Oh no, we're going to increase rates now by a little bit. And then that will change things and rates might come up again. But broadly speaking, this is where we are on the whole those fixes are all dropping down. So uh, one thing to talk about in news though, to talk about before we get on to the best rates on each different category is Metro Bank. Because as you'll see when we talk about those different sections, Metro Bank is now table topping on a number of different options. And you might think, oh, that's good. This is like high rates. Want to go for the best possible rates out there. But you might also have heard or seen the headlines about Metro Bank. And you might be slightly worried about, should I be putting my cash into Metro Bank because aren't they struggling? Aren't they in trouble? Well, what's happened in the last sort of three or four weeks? A couple of things that have been announced. One of them is a rescue deal. So the shareholders agreed, I think it was about two weeks ago now, they agreed a package which would hopefully shore up their finances, as they say, and mean that their bank can continue trading. Uh, and then off the back of that, the bank announced they will be reviewing their opening hours and they will also be looking uh, to get rid of some staff. And that's a big cost factor for them. So those kind of things could hopefully again mean that they're kind of like, you know, cost cutting means they can have more money left to kind of keep going elsewhere. And also there's talk about them selling off some of their mortgages to replace again, bring some more money in for that. So from that point of view, there was problems. They're saying they found the problems, the solutions to that, and they're going to be okay. Of course, in these situations, you never really quite know. 
but I wouldn't be too worried about it personally, because as long as you aren't going to be saving more than £85,000 with Metro Bank, then if they did go under, the worst thing that's going to happen is a bit of admin headache because your money is protected by the financial services compensation scheme. I've got a whole video taking you through. This applies to most banks in the, here in the UK. It's important you do look for a bank that is covered by this, the FSCS, because this means that, not the government themselves, because the banks will put money in towards this, but by effectively means it's government directed that if a bank is to go under, there's a pot of cash that will fund all that money that has been uh, effectively lost. You will get it back. And shouldn't take too long either. But again, a little bit of admin headache. So when you put all your money in there, definitely have some elsewhere. But broadly speaking, should be fine. But even if they did go under, as long as it's less than, uh, less than 85k, you will be fine as well. But it's worth talking about that because I know some people will be concerned because they say are at the top uh, a number of these different tables. So let's have a look first of all at fixes. As you saw from that initial uh, table I showed you, that's where some of those biggest drops have happened. And there is a chance, obviously, the rates we've got right now, there could be some improvement above it because often, particularly with the fixes, but it could happen to all types of savings account, the banks go, we need some money. And the way we get this money is we offer a savings account at a rate at the top of the table to bring people in. So I'm showing you these rates now. They are the best you can get at the time of recording this on the 6th of December, 2023. They could obviously change up and down. I don't think they'd be significantly higher, but they could be a little bit higher. If the rates do change, or are there banks that I don't mention in this video, I always get comments saying, what about this bank? What about that bank? Head to becleverwithyourcash.com forward slash savings for all of these different types of savings accounts that I'm going to be talking about right now. Because myself and the team, every single day, first thing in the morning and at the end of the day as well, and anything in between, if we spot something particularly good, we are updating these best buy tables. So everything I'm showing you right now, becleverwithyourcash.com forward slash savings. But say, as we are right now, a number of different drops. So let's go over to the, to the blog and I will show you the best ones right now for each of those different categories. So six months and nine months, Monument Bank are the highest paying ones there. So they're quite good if you are thinking, right, I can lock my money away for a certain amount of time, but not too long, but you obviously beat the easy access rates at the moment. And then we had that 12 month fix. We have Metro Bank, as we discussed right now, 5.8%. There is a, a bit of a drop to the next one below that. You've got uh, gatehouse at 5.7 percent and then again below that 5.65 ish something like that so metro bank really at the moment is the one that is keeping that 12 month fix at a kind of more competitive rate still below that 6.2 we had a few months ago but when that one goes if metro decide we've got enough cash in we don't want to offer this anymore then we'll see a relatively big jump down to the next ones got 15 18 month ones there as well metro popping in again 18 months and then we've got uh a building society for two year, Loughborough Building Society 5.5%. And then three year, four year, and five year fixes. The top paying ones for all of those right now are BLME. This is a Shariah compliant account uh, bank. I've spoken about this a few times before on the on the videos. This is uh, not interest. You get expected profit rate instead. However, although there's no guarantee, guarantee they're going to pay you out. You're going to get that rate. So just because they don't have uh, interest in under Islam, so they have to do it in a slightly different way. They are the top ones. Again, really significant different services there from what you could have get a few weeks ago, a month ago. And three years is a good example here. Sometimes a provider might come in with a rate. Uh, there was just a, what, was it last week? Maybe just over a week ago, there was a three year fix at 5.85% available just for a couple of days, then it went. Those things obviously may come along, so keep an eye out for them, but this is the best you're gonna get right now. Uh, and while we're talking about fixes, I do want to talk about something else, a, a cut here, which leads on to another kind of newsy bit before we get on to some of the other accounts. And this is around the NSNI Green Savings Bond. This one has been cut massively. Just a couple of weeks ago, they, at NSNI cut it from 5.7% to 3.95%. Now, those subsequent drops we've seen in the last fortnight mean the difference isn't quite so stark between that rate and the other three-year fixes but it's still a big, big drop down. And it is a big disappointment for those of you who do want to kind of save ethically, have some sort of money in sort of green initiatives. 3.95 versus getting 5% elsewhere. That is quite a big drop difference on your cash right now. So that is a big, big disappointment. Importantly, this is only for new applicants. If you already have this bond, your money is locked away at the rate you got it at. So if you did manage to get that, then well done. That was a, a decent one, particularly if you're worried about ethical issues. But this leads on to a, a newsy thing I want to talk about here in terms of NSNI, because a big reason for 
that drop isn't just because rates are dropping everywhere. It's because in the autumn statement, the government uh, shared that the NSNI, National Savings and Investment, which is a government-backed uh, backed lending uh, organization, they had ex uh, exceeded their uh, targets, their funding targets for the year. And this isn't a calendar year. It's not like, well, there's only a few weeks left. So that's great. This is a financial year. So this takes you through to the beginning of April. So it's number four months of the year still to go. And if they've exceeded their funding uh, targets, that means they don't need to get any more in. And that means they do not need to offer us any competitive or decent rates. So hence, we saw that 6.2% one year uh, rate disappear a few months ago. And then we've seen the cut to the green bonds and cut to some other kind of longer things. And you never know, there might be even cuts to things like premium bonds on the way. At the least, if that, the cuts don't come, at least we probably won't see anything competitive coming from NSNI. I do get questions from you guys quite a lot saying, will they come back with another 6.2% fix? It's not gonna happen. And not at least they get new targets come in. And if those targets aren't easy to reach just from the normal money they have coming in, because people do like premium bonds. And there are some good reasons for premium bonds as we've covered before. Don't expect anything to come along there. So from some bad news to some good news, and I promise you, a bit of a hint at the beginning, uh, there were some changes to regular savers. There are two new regular saver accounts to tell you about. One of them is open to everyone. You do not need to have a current account. You do not need to have been a customer with a bank or building society for a length of time, which might rule you out or make it harder for you to get some of those top rates. So effectively, this is the top paying now, open to everyone, uh, regular saver. And this is from Gatehouse. It's another Shariah uh, compliant bank. So uh, this rate of 7% you get is an expected return as well. Uh, but again, you can apply for this one and get it. The max you can put into this every month is 250 quid, which isn't too bad, not the best out there, but it's still not bad at all. Uh, the other new one is from Coventry Build Society. This is also paying 7%, but this is a loyalty one. And you need to have had a savings account or a mortgage consistently running since January 2022. So nearly two years, you need to have had an account with Coventry Building Society. If that is you and you can get it, then you can also get 7% there. But as I'll share with you now, I'll take the top picks, the best ones you can get at the moment. Uh, let's have a look. There are still others that can beat this. Nationwide, that 8% flex regular saver for current account uh, holders is uh, still running up to £200 a month. There's still that £200 bank switch available as well for Nationwide. So do check both of those out if you're not with Nationwide right now. First Direct, also 7% regular saver, £300 you can put in there every month. You require a current account. Again, still £175 uh, switching bonus going on. Gatehouse, we mentioned just now. And then below that, we have Club Lloyd's 6.25%, which is still pretty decent. And you can put 400 quid in there. Plus you get a freebie such as cinema tickets or Disney Plus. And then finally that NatWest or RBS or both of them if you want, 6.17% paying regular saver. A small amount of money you can put in there every single month, up to 150 quid. But this one doesn't end after a year. So you can keep saving into it, keep saving into it, keep saving into it. So my first direct regular saver has just finished after a year of being open. So now I've got all that money and the interest back again, but now it'd be getting a much, much lower rate. Whereas the money in my NatWest regular saver, well, that's still earning 6.17% continuously. Obviously they can change the rates and things, but there's a good one to think about there in terms of it's a lower rate, but after a year, you're still gonna be getting that higher rate. Uh, and in terms of those loyalty ones, just quickly show you that that Coventry one isn't the only one out there. Skipton and Yorkshire also have one. Skipton is 7.5% and Yorkshire Building Society 7%. You can put a decent sum into that Yorkshire one. But again, they do have rules. They're briefly there, but if you wanna read them in more detail, head over to becleverwithyourcash.com where you'll see uh, in the savings article, more information about all of those different accounts. Where next? Let's move on now to easy access accounts. There have been a little bit, a little bit of improvements here. Not anything drastic, um, but nothing falling away as well, which is good news. So you can still get around that 5.2% rate on your savings. Top of the table though, the new one that has come along is from Metro Bank. I told you they were the top of the table on a few different places. Here we go, 5.22%. Now this does include a bonus for the first year. So after that first year, the rate will drop down. So certainly we're looking to move your money, you know, put a note in your diary to move that cash after a year if you do opt for them. But just below that, if you are unsure about Metro Bank, I said nothing really to worry about. But if you are unsure, you've got a few other options here at 5.2%. DF Capital is a brand new one that just came in today or yesterday, 5.2%. Uh, Ulster Bank been around for a while, 5.2, but a minimum 5,000 pounds needed to get that rate. And then Kahoot, which is part of Santander, also has a 5.2% account, but that one is only up to £3,000. If you do really want to be with Kahoot, uh, they have a 5.12% paying 
account as well, which doesn't have that limitation. And Beehive Money is in there. Beehive Money is Nottingham Build Society. So if you're worried about ethical money, again, that's not a bad option for you, 5.15. And again, it's kind of that ethical kind of shorthand of using the Build Society is pretty decent there. Again, has a bonus for the first year. So after a year, check what rates are available elsewhere and maybe move it. Uh, very quickly though, you can obviously beat these on Easy Access with a couple of different current account linked uh, accounts. Just mention them just for completion. I've obviously covered them quite a lot here. The Santander Edge Saver that comes with the Santander Edge current account. So it doesn't come with it. You have to get a Santander Edge current account and then open the Edge Saver. 7% uh, bonus of 2.5% for the first year. Uh, that one is only on balances up to £4,000. You can have uh, more than one of these though if you have a joint account as well. So potentially between two of you, you could get four of these. Just bear in mind that Santander Edge current account has a fee of £3 that comes with it. Uh, and Barclays Blue Rewards, 5.12% on the first £5,000 there. Personally, I wouldn't be bothered with that one too much right now simply because you can beat it on accounts which don't require all the faff of Blue Rewards. But I guess if you've got a Barclays account and you've got Blue Rewards and you've got less than £5,000, then that still is a, a decent option. And very quickly, let's look at some of those limited access uh, ones. Uh, Paragon, 5.16%. Virgin, 5.12%. I don't really see the point of these ones, particularly when you can beat them on accounts with no limitations. But if you want to, they're there. And notice accounts, interesting one to share with you here. Monument 5.41 for a two month notice period. So 60 day notice, short term savings. That beats obviously easy access. If you know you don't need the money for a couple of months and you can withhold that, that is not too bad at all. Three months, Hampshire Trust Bank 5.51%. Four months, technically this is the best one, 5.7% with Earl Shields and Build Society, but you need more than 50,000 pounds in the account to get that if you have less. As the graphic shows there, the rates do drop down below that. So it really is about 5.3, 5.5% on a four months notice. And you can get 5.58 uh, on a six month notice account there as well. What else to talk about? I think we're really now just down onto ICES, aren't we? And ICES, as we said at the top, that table I went through, all different things, month on month comparison, they have seen some of the biggest falls overall. Um, still though, despite these falls, despite these drops within ICES, if you are worried about your personal savings allowance, and I'm gonna do a video very, very soon on the tax on savings. If you're worried about uh, paying tax on savings, even if these rates have dropped, even if these rates are lower than what you'll get elsewhere, when you factor in the tax you might have to pay, they're still gonna be not too bad at all. So uh, let's have a look at all the best ones here. Metro pops up again, but Metro, this is an interesting one with Metro, and I've added a few extra lines in this month to this little table. The Metro uh, top buy on easy access and the top buy on a one year fixed ISA, they are branch only. You have to go into a Metro branch to open this account. Once you've opened it, you can manage it on the app and things like that, but you have to go in to open them. So that's gonna rule out some of you. Lots of branches in the Southeast, less around the country. If you can't open those, Zopa 5.09% for easy access. Uh, Moneybox has the same rate on a limited access account with a maximum of three withdrawals, although Again, why go for a limited access with withdrawals when you get an easy access with the same or a better rate? Uh, that flexible one from Barclays is still going. It's like a fixed rate, five point, uh, actually, sorry, it should be 5.2, I think, not 5.25%. I think that has dropped slightly, sorry about that. Um, but that one is fixed, but you can take money out and pay money back in. So it's an interesting compromise there uh, between the two different sorts. Uh, talk about Metro for one year, uh, 5.71, but if you can't get to a branch, Virgin Money is 5.65%, but that does require a current account. So again, below that, things drop down again and you can see the rest of them there as i said be clever with your cash.com forward slash savings it's where you will find details on all the different types of savings accounts we've gone through and alternatives so more options on each of these different rates that is it for my december 2023 update on savings uh, make sure you do keep an eye on the website uh, for more updates as they come along and i'll see you again very soon my name is andy webb thank you so much for watching check out these videos right here more ways to boost your savings.